Samsung DeX will never be the same again. I have got the Xreal Air 2 Pros and they are the best new way to use Samsung DeX. Let's go. The Xreal Air 2 Pros are amazing. They take a regular piece of fashion and turn it on its head, literally, and make it into this amazing two-in-one experience. A piece of fashion, and the best entertainment and productivity experience that you can take with you anywhere. Today, I'm gonna to show you how these, paired with Samsung DeX, is the best way to use Samsung DeX. Let's start first with the very premium unboxing experience. It's high-end. It's better than any other sunglass unboxing experience that you will likely have had. I got the full kit. I got the glasses, I got the X-Real beam, and I got the hub that allows you to charge and connect to the glasses at the same time. And of course, the glasses and the cable. Everything comes in really nice packaging. It's really nice and premium to unbox. Feels good and more importantly, sounds good. love a good ASMR unboxing. Nice. The case that comes with the glasses has this really nice satisfying snap. Ooh. Now let's quickly cover the design. They are definitely bigger and bulkier than traditional sunglasses. You immediately notice that when you pick them up and when you have them on your head. Taking a look at them next to my normal Ray-Bans and apologies for the condition of them. They're inconspicuous enough when you have them next to each other, but you obviously can still tell. You can see as it's compared to the Ray-Bans that it is obviously bulkier and bigger. You don't get that sleek profile that sunglasses are normally known for, at least not Ray-Bans. They are though inconspicuous enough that I feel you could wear them in short bursts in public, walking to cafes, outdoors, and the general person won't look twice because you aren't looking ridiculous enough like you're not wearing a virtual reality headset. It is, it is a pair of sunglasses, but not, not according to my wife. It looks so fake. They effectively just look like double stacked sunglasses from the front. And then when you look on the side, you can kind of see the tech that is kind of sitting inside there. Now there's a simple deck setup that I can show you. It's basically you plug the included cable, which has this nice little angle on it to sort of fit the flow of the glasses. Nice touch. Straight into the end of the phone, and then it will launch Dex onto the screen. This is not the best way to do it. You have a fixed screen size and a fixed distance, and you cannot customize it. It is as you see it through the sunglasses. This is where the beam comes in. The beam with its tiny little pocket size and a roughly 4,800 million power battery inside it can actually power a much more customizable Samsung Dex experience. It kind of looks like the bottom half of an old iPod, but with much more functionality. The entire operating system for the glasses actually sits on here. So when you plug this into the glasses on its own, you get greeted with the interface and the UI of what the glasses can actually do. You can run apps off here, like there's Netflix, which I thought was crazy that you have that built into the, to the glasses and to the operating system. And then there's settings that you can go through and change audio settings, change video settings, right through here. But the main reason why you have this is to customize the viewing experience. And it's all operated by the click wheel. With this click wheel and the way you can interact with it, you can customize the screen, the size, the distance from your face in any way you like. With the side orange button, which I think is a really cool orange, it kind of stands out. You can change how it's positioned to your face, whether it's anchored to your body, so it's fixed to a certain position, whether it's got a smooth follow. So when you are sort of moving your head around, it will track and follow your head around the room. And then you've also got side view. Samsung DeX doesn't take advantage of side view. So I'm not going to be covering that in too much detail. I'm going to focus more on the first two. Just before I continue, let's break off a minute and show you how I actually captured the inside of the glasses. I used the ultra wide camera on the S23 Ultra, which meant it has macro capabilities. So that was able to focus nice and close in on the glasses and what was seen. And then I covered up the sensor on the top. So it would think that it's on my face. And you can see as well, the little reflection of the trackpad so you can keep abreast of what buttons I'm pressing. 
pretty cool. I really like the body anchor option when it comes to the screen because I like to fix it at a certain point and have it fixed to where my head is and you can change that by holding down the button. It will reposition it as well, which is pretty cool. You've also got on the glasses themselves a couple of buttons. These buttons have a couple of different functions. You've got the volume buttons there, but you also have a button to control pass through. So if you wanted to make it a little bit more transparent so you can see what's going on, like with the kids playing around, I've recreated it using Premiere Pro. This is not how it looks in the glasses. This is how it looks in the glasses from my phone's point of view. So that doesn't give you the best option to understand it. So I've recreated it for you. But basically it will go from black to sort of gray to sort of really see through. And you can watch your kids sort of playing around the whole time whilst also seeing the screen and work that's in front of you. But my favorite thing about it is the fact you can control the screen size. You can make the screen massive. I'm talking 400 inches plus massive, but that's not really practical if you've got it set like 30 centimeters from your face. So why not set it further? You can make it be set 10 meters from your face using the distance measurement tool and it will move the 400 inch screen 10 meters from you. So you've got a 400 inch screen, but it's like 10 meters away. It's kind of neat. You just got to find the balance for you, whether you want a 32 inch monitor at close to your face or whether you want a massive one that's a little bit further back, up to you. With all of those controls sort of understood, let's dive into DeX. The great thing about DeX is you have two options to launch it. You've got wired and wireless. I was able to launch the wireless DeX, which gives you a guide inside the settings or the operating system of the there's glasses, you can go in and see it, but I, for some reason could not get the trackpad on the phone screen to actually work with wireless decks launched. So I scrapped it and I just went for the cable. The cable is by far the best way to operate it. Because you don't need a lot of space to operate Samsung decks with the glasses, you don't need to bring a lot of peripherals with you. You plug the phone into the beam, the beam into the glasses, and it launches Samsung decks. Simple. You then obviously can bring some peripherals with you. Depending on what you decide to bring will be how much space you sort of take up on the table, at a restaurant, whatever it is, wherever you are. I love just leaving the phone on the table. Because with Samsung DeX, you can use the phone as a trackpad. You can operate the Samsung DeX environment from your phone screen and the cursor appears in front of you on the glasses. Neat. I've also got the Samsung Bluetooth keyboard, which I find amazing to use in this sort of situation because it's light and thin and really nice to type on. And then after that, DeX operates the same as it does on any other display. It's just now tied to a pair of glasses that happen to be sitting on your face. It is surreal. I typed the entire script for this video using the Xreal Air 2 Pros on my face with Samsung DeX plugged into it. I did it out on my dining room table and I sat there, I typed it out whilst the kids were playing in front of me. It was surreal because it meant I didn't have to sort of be distracted, but I could also activate the pass through, just keep watching them if I would need a little break without having to take the glasses off, for example. The whole process is so easy. There's no big things you need to lug around. It's literally just your phone in your pocket, the glasses in your bag, and you've got everything you need to set it up on a desk. And with DeX, it's a thing that I just realized while I was using it, DeX has multi-screen multi, multi available. So you can have multiple windows open at once. So I could be watching a YouTube video on one side and typing my notes on the other if I wanted to sort of break free from, with some entertainment attached to it too. So much faceted options here, and I really like the ability to do that and have it on my face. It's just so good. The thing is, I could do this with a portable monitor, which I have done. And I like that experience too, because it's a desktop experience a little bit more because you get the screen in front of you on the table. You feel a bit more like you're in an office, but these glasses are so portable. They take up no space in the environment that you're actually in. You can take them anywhere. I use them at the cafe. I went for breakfast with the family. Again, I wanted to get a little bit of work done. So I was able to use them in the cafe a little bit more inconspicuously than potentially bringing a laptop or a portable monitor. And it's the same peripherals. And you can pair it back less if you want, because you can use the keyboard on the phone. Although with these on your face, it's a little bit harder to see. So I do recommend a Bluetooth keyboard for this use case. I actually did show them to someone at the cafe who, who asked what I was doing. And I said that, you know, I'm using these to look at a screen on my face and she didn't want to be filmed, but she tried them and was amazed at the capability, blown away by it. So there's potential there for other people to be excited by this stuff too. As this video is going to go live, I will be overseas 
and I absolutely used them on the plane on my flight over there. A lot of people would hold their phone or they'd use the tray. I didn't have to do any of that because I had these on my face, which meant the tray could be kept free and I could watch a movie on my face without any physical thing in front of me taking up space. I just plugged the phone into my glasses, used Samsung Dex, used the trackpad on the phone screen to open up Netflix, and I was set. There is speakers on these things and they do work okay. They're not as private as you might hope, so you might, you definitely will need to wear Bluetooth earphones still, but take a listen, you still can get decent sound out of them if you're at home, for example. Really convenient if you're doing a lot of work on your main computer and you need to maybe access apps or respond to messages from your phone. The best part I loved about this was not needing to adhere the rules of the tray. You know, tray tables up when there's turbulence, tray tables up when the seatbelt sign's on. I don't have to worry about any of that because I can just have this on my face and still be consuming a movie on a massive screen in front of me, especially with food comes around too. Let's cut to me now talking about how it was using it on the plane. I've arrived in London, been here a couple of days now. It's pretty good. Uh, you can tell I'm an Australian wearing thongs at 7.30 in the morning. Um, my thing that I've had with these, uh, I did wear them on the plane. I used them quite a bit, actually. Uh, on my first flight, I probably used them maybe six out of the eight hours. Uh, what I found was that they were pretty comfortable to wear for lengthy periods. I watched the whole movie and then also a, a podcast as well. Uh, on the, what I noticed towards the back end, I actually had to plug in my phone to charge through the, through the hub, then into the beam. And what I noticed was that the, the actual beam itself got a little bit too hot. And then the, the glasses actually shut down and they had to, to cool before they restarted. Not a big problem. Uh, it didn't take long to recool. It's just something I noticed. And of course, if you took away the beam, which was the problem that was overheating, uh, it could restart. And that was after already using it extensive periods of time. So I, wasn't on, I wouldn't say it's too big of a deal. The thing I really loved with them is the fact that I could wear them in sort of any position. I could crane my neck up, I could crane my neck down, and the screen would sort of follow. On the plane, because of the way so the plane sort of bumps and moves, I had to turn on smooth follow, so it would actually sort of keep track of my head movements and sort of keep in position, which was great. And that actually made the experience really good. As I said, crane up, crane down, and... Uh, yeah, and everything I said about the tray table, absolutely. Having that tray table free of clutter and having the screen in front of me wherever I sort of moved, amazing. So big props to these, really love using them on the plane and will continue to use them throughout the trip. Something else I think is worth adding with these two is that they actually worked okay being glasses and having a bit of separation from the face because I could look down and see my phone screen and sort of, because Dex, you can use your phone screen while Dex is running, I can interact with my phone whilst also watching something. And I know that's probably not the right thing to do, but I could see the keyboard if I needed to search in Netflix, there was a whole bunch of things. So I really liked it and I'm glad for this design that they've gone with because it does still keep you open enough whilst also being able to allow you to focus on the screen in front of you. Good job. Thanks me. Being overseas with this has actually been really good too. I've spent the first few days over in London and I've needed to finish this video. Even though I'm pitching this as a Samsung DeX solution, you can actually plug these in via USB-C to your computer. So you can get a big large monitor in front of you without needing to take the big large monitor with you. And I actually edited part of this video with the x -Real beams on. So it meant I'm not needing to occupy a lot of space in the room, nor distract a lot of people from taking up space in the room as well. The last and possible funnest part of this is gaming and mobile gaming in particular especially when you have access to a bluetooth controller you see where i'm going you connect the bluetooth controller to the phone and then you have samsung dex on your face and then you launch the app or the game you want to play on dex and you have a full mobile game experience right in front of you games like asphalt 9 or call of duty are amazing to use when you've got them strapped to your face and it's just phenomenal it's great to keep yourself occupied when you're on holiday and the kids have gone to bed or when you're sitting down on the couch at night and your spouse is watching something you don't want to watch strap these on your face and you can immerse yourself in something completely different i have worn these a lot recently my favorite way to use them is obviously samsung decks because i can take these in my bag without needing to take anything sort of extra these 
the cables and my phone. That's all I need to have a productivity setup that no one else will obviously have. What I love is that it takes something existing and turns them into something else and gives it another purpose. Lots of people will wear sunglasses. So why not take that item and take something else a lot of people like to do, which is be entertained or work in front of a screen and just combine the two together. It's so clever what they've done with the two projectors here that it just feels like a perfect combination. If you want to grab a pair for yourself, I've chucked the link in the description. I'd like to thank Xreal for sending these out for me to check out. They have not contributed to how this review needs to be sculpted. They literally just sent me the glasses and I was on my way. I've been wanting to try something like this for a very long time and I'm very glad I can now do that. Make sure you subscribe to Tech With Benefits. Make sure you also come and find me on my socials. I've got Twitter slash X and I'm also on Instagram. I'll see you in the next one. You!